Hey, uh, my name is Malin Petersen. I am a musician and a songwriter. And thank you so much, Michaela, for having me. Uh, I think it's a great campaign. Um, so, I mean, uh, talking about things where I've gotten opinions from people I haven't asked um, for their opinion, and also talking a little bit about being your courageous self. Uh, first, I wanted to touch on, uh, you know, the opinions that you get like after a show or when you talk to people and you tell them that you're a musician. You know, I've gotten, you should wear a dress or you should smile more. Um, and also you should make more this or this kind of music because then you would probably make it. Um, singing Norwegian is something that uh, is a big opinion that people have and advice. And what's what often bothers me about these advices is not that they're, I don't think that they mean it in a bad way, but it kind of implies that I have not made conscious choices about why I'm doing what I'm doing, uh, which I have. And I have now been doing this for over half of my life. And um, it seems to be a thing where people just go, hey, you probably haven't thought about this, but you should do this, right? And it just, yeah, just, it bothers me. <laughs> um, and also I released, uh, last year I released um, an EP called Alonesome, which was just me and my guitar, which was a very personal project where I wanted to see if I could just be me and myself, uh, me and my guitar in the studio to see if that was enough. And I remember some of the reviews were, you know, someone find her a producer and this could be, you know, really good. Or I, she forgot the drums or like, yeah, she should have maybe like had more band on here. And I was just like, first of all, it said in like the the press kit that you got that this is supposed to be an acoustic album. It's not like I didn't think about bringing a band on or it's not like there was no producer involved to be like, hey, these songs really, like I produced it myself and the producer said, this is going to be a guitar and voice album. Um, and also the first, album that I ever recorded, which was just me, uh, my solo project with a band. Um, I remember, you know, that was a huge step for me going from playing with a full band that I had played with for a decade, uh, where uh, it was difficult to know if my opinions were my opinions or if they were kind of a mix between like my opinions and my bandmates' opinion. Uh, so I wanted to make an album where I was the producer and where I decided uh, things. And I remember sending some of the mixes to this pop producer who had wanted to work with me. And he was like, mm, it's a little confusing to me. You know, it's nice, but it's, yeah, I, I don't know like what, um, you should tidy this up or you should do this or this. And that was a time in my life where I was really put on, it was a test for me because you know, I put a lot of money into it. I had a really clear idea and I had really decided that you should listen to only yourself in this. And when he said that, I was like, okay, remember your mantra. Remember <clears throat> that you're in charge of this project and you know what it's going to sound like at the other end. So just trust that. And I won a Norwegian Grammy for that album. And it was just a really, you know, high five moment to myself. And, um, yeah, but thank you so much. I think this is a really important thing to talk about. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, Michaela. And um, you know, it's a it's an important thing to try to figure out who you are. And so I guess it's a f whole life kind of deal.